Hi, everyone. Hey, how's it going? Uh, this is my buddy Eric. I've mentioned him many, many, many times in a bunch of my videos, like old memories that I have about stuff. And he barely ever comes over, we barely ever see each other, so I thought we'd do like a little our old childhood memory list. Like, made a list. Yeah. And uh, we've been laughing, like cracking up about him just before oh. even telling you guys. So, uh, so yeah, Eric, introduce nice yourself. To meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Eric. Uh, I live in Noble. And I travel up here just a little bit so I could hang out with him. Uh, we met like a long time ago. I think we were, I was seven? Seven? You, you were nine, I was, I was ten. Okay, that's right. Because okay, I was going I was fourth nine, grade. You were ten. And I, my family moved across the street from your family. Yeah. And out in the country. Yep. Way out in the boondocks. <laughs> <laughs> Woods everywhere. And so, um, there was a funny story that happened where. We were going to the river, mm -hmm. and my cousin came over, and I think he was there too. And something happened with his nose plugs, <laughs> and I think it was funny, but I can't remember exactly like the details. It's like all I saw. I looked over, like <laughs> I went there with my family too. I hadn't met him yet. The li I lived across the street from his aunt and uncle, and his yep. cousin, and then so they all like we were all neighbors, you know. So we all got invited to the river or whatever. And uh, so we're all playing around in the water, and I met his sister, and she thought I was a girl. <laughs> she, she asked my name, and I said, Corey, and she said, that's a pretty name for a girl. And I was like, I'm a boy. <laughs> this is obviously pre-pubescent, pre-puberty. -pre uh, I think she told me that you were a girl. <laughs> really? Yeah. I looked over and saw him and his cousin, like, wrestling or, like, dunking each other. I don't know what they were doing, but that's just, that's the only time I saw him before meeting him, actually. I think he took my nose plugs, and that's what it was. And for some reason, that still sticks with me today, those dang nose plugs. I never got them back, and it really made yep. me mad. His nose has been unplugged <laughs> ever since. But yeah, we would go, I would go over to his house, and we'd play in his woods a lot. And we made up this, like, imaginary world, and it yeah. was, we called it techno, and it was like you... We would be all kinds of different things, like all your favorite video game characters, all your favorite. We'd basically make a big like alternate reality that we like lived in in like real life, though. Yeah, whatever game we were playing somehow tied into that world that we we created, and it was it was awesome. And we'd be like walking through the woods, like oh Charizard, yeah, <laughs> got my Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> and in the woods, it like there'd be different sections. Like there was a really red, muddy area. Like I had red, in Oklahoma, there's red mud, like legit red. And we called that, like, the fire Pokemon area. <laughs> and then I had a pond, and it would be the water Pokemon. And there was a base under that pond, too. Yeah, yeah. Like a maximal like, base. Yeah, like the Beast, Beast Wars. Because we were obsessed with Beast Wars, <laughs> I still am. But, uh, and then in the very back, there was, like, this lush, green, random, like, the most oh, beautiful yeah. grass you've ever seen. I don't know how. Like, there must have been a lot of dead people back there or something. Yeah. Like, the best grass ever. And it was, prison like, world. trays. Yeah, random prison trays back there. Yeah. We had 20 acres of land. And uh, there we call that the grass Pokemon area. Oh, and then yeah. <laughs> remember we had our own trees. Yeah, we named it. <laughs> we, had our, we had our own trees, Cory Tree and Eric Tree. And we also had like a little sectioned out area that had a bunch of hanging vines for like walls, kind of. Yeah. And we had like a nature club. And yeah. We'd go and pick up pine cones and like we had a shelf where we found different cool looking rocks and things just, like that. Just anything you can find out in the woods, we would just sit it up there and every time we'd come back it'd be on the ground because like the wind or something. We'd be like, oh, we'll clean it up real fast. Yeah, we had like this toaster hanging up you had to, check you had in. to like, like access it. <laughs> to check in? Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, all the way on the right side of that land, remember we there was a clothes floating in like a puddle? And we thought like yeah. someone got murdered or something and then came up with this big story. My stepdad like tried to scare us and was like saying like, yeah, there was all this and that and like, which yeah. I fell for completely. Like, like we whoa. we pretty much thought that side was haunted. <laughs> yeah, we so like we, didn't even go like around avoid it. that area. <laughs> that was the ghost Pokemon area that we yeah. still didn't even go catch any yeah. ghost Pokemon. And then all the way on the left side, remember there was a we found a deer stand. Remember that it was like wood mm. in the tree. Glenn helped me rip it down. Like we ripped it down. Okay. And like that big tree. No, it was a tree stand on there tree. on the people next to us. Land. Okay. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Do you remember? And I had an old old car out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we throw rocks at it. <laughs> we, <laughs> we were little kids, we were little shit. What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> well, there was like he had an old, old, like rusty car that was sitting in the back of his land. Right, I don't know how he got it back there. Yeah, it was We'd like, like 1930s. <laughs> behind my trees with rocks, but 
<laughs> break out all the glass on it. Whoops. Yeah. And uh, we, we used to ride our bikes up and down the roads, and there would be little caterpillars crossing, and we'd have to, we'd like that would be an activity that we'd come up with to do to grab. And we had this one tree called the Caterpillar Hotel. Yeah. And we would bring all the caterpillars to that one tree, and then we had to save them all. Like, yeah. We had, and then we, if we saw one that was run over by a car or something, we're like. Funeral yeah, failed you. <laughs> <laughs> but like we'd seriously, it was a really long road. We'd like go all down, found a caterpillar, grab it, take it all the yeah. way back to this tree. We probably like kidnapped a lot of caterpillars. Yeah, I know. They're like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> and uh, he had a pink bike that he got from his sister, and it had the back brakes, and I had like a like a mountain bike with front brakes. So I was so jealous because he'd slam on his brakes and like do all the sliding maneuvers and like leave big streaks in our gravel road and i was like super jealous of it. yeah I always even though i had like the fancier looking black bike and it was pink. pink yeah <laughs> I was like, oh man i want still, that bike <laughs> like still cool for some reason <laughs> yeah. i think i like wanted it from a really bad and traded some other yeah. toy for it or something i'd be like can i try yours now like drive the pink one around <laughs> and then like we'd jump ramps with the bm with the mountain bike and hit the front brakes on accident at the end of it and do a front flip land on our backs yeah <laughs> like even though i lived across the street from him i stayed at his house the whole time i didn't ever really go home unless i was forced to he and, he was had pretty much the harry potter story at his house over there like his aunt and uncle like made him do chores for like 25 cents like yeah a week or something yeah <laughs> like he couldn't come Dude. over until he like pretty much did their entire house like <laughs> yeah they don't clean anything all yeah of a sudden. <laughs> so uh we uh we got kind of salty about that and took it upon ourselves to, uh... Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> we took some maxi pads and we <laughs> filled the ant to keep part of them off. <laughs> and we used to pick up... They had a bunch of chihuahuas yeah. that lived in their house that would kind of poop in the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we would find some and we'd pick it up and stick it to the back of the dresser. Don't worry. <laughs> they wouldn't find it, but you'd smell it. Yeah, these really poopy maxi pads stuck to the back of his cousin's dresser. <laughs> and he'd walk in and be like, oh, there's dog poop somewhere. I can't find it because it's sitting behind the dresser. Yeah. And then so they were moving. <laughs> and they moved that, and it's like, <laughs> all these age old. Like turds hanging off of maxi pads. <laughs> Half stuck on there now. <laughs> Dusty. Oh, you don't mess with us. We get some I didn't even live there pads. anymore. I, I just heard about it. Like, <laughs> no, I didn't hear anything about that. Oh, the cousin we keep mentioning. Uh, oh. We we were we were crappy little kids. Gay. Okay? Like we were nice, but like we were still little shits. You know, like a lot of kids are. Yeah, what do you do? Boys will be boys type yeah. thing. <laughs> and this little cousin, you know, he'd follow us around everywhere and, like, always want to, like, do what we're doing. And, of course, when you're a kid, you're like, I don't want to hang out with you. You're younger than me. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, we'd always just punk on him pretty much. And one time, he, I kicked my shoe off. <laughs> flies through his aunt's window. Like, this is the really strict aunt that makes him do chores. Boom, busts that window out. And we're like, oh, crap. Like, what do we do? And then yeah. Dakota's standing there. And I just got the idea... Dakota, why did you break that window? <laughs> and he was like, I didn't do it. And like we're like, yeah, you did. We just saw you take his shoe and throw it through that window. <laughs> and he was like, oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> and we're like, you better go tell on yourself. You better, set, you better let them know what you did. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're going to get in bigger in trouble. <laughs> Guess what I just did, guys. <laughs> He gets this huge bank in, he's grounded, grounded for a long gets time. Gets his, like, his uh, allowance taken away to like fix the window or whatever. <laughs> we almost feel bad. It's like... We're like, ooh, we didn't get in trouble. Though. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, man. But I don't know whether to feel bad or like I'm a genius for like <laughs> making... It reminds me of making a murderer when they interrogate that kid and make him think that he had participated in this murder when he didn't because he's kind of like not very smart, which makes me feel worse, but we were kids. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> okay. do. But anyways... Um, like that aunt who used to pay me, she would give me really low allowances and stuff, and we'd always want games and stuff, so... There was this Pokemon Stadium game coming out, and we needed to save up for it. It was like seventy bucks because it came with a char like a transfer pack and all this. Yeah, stuff. like it was a big package of stuff, but and so it was so expensive. But I could only got like five bucks a week, <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> was it that much? I thought it was less. <laughs> it could have been. I think I don't it was know. like maybe one dollar a day, and ended up oh. being five dollars oh, a okay, week. Yeah. I think. And so, I mean, yeah, you can save that up, you know, but. We're, like, wanting it on release day, though. Yeah, like, exactly. And, and so it's approaching. Right. And so we're trying to save up really fast, and his mom just buys the whole thing. Like yeah. My we, side of it and everything. I didn't <laughs> even put in, like, not even that much. And But 
We tried to like go. Well, this is all we have, and she's like, "Don't worry about it. like let us keep our money." Yeah, <laughs> and she bought it. And that me. was the funnest game. Like I had to go home not long after the first little bit after we got that, and I only got to play for like a couple hours, and I was all upset. But we got addicted to all fun. the mini games. Yeah, if you played Pokemon Stadium, there's a ton of mini games on it. Was it one, one or two that she bought us? I think it was I think one. She bought us. Oh, I thought it was two, but I was think we two? had one, and that's why we wanted two so bad. Oh, maybe that was it. I just thought, we, like, did two come with the transfer pack? Maybe they both did. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. I know that It was expensive, though. It was like $60 you or $70. Before so. I met you. Oh, okay, yeah. you bought it. I remember, because the box was all shiny, and we were like, oh my gosh, look yeah. at it. Like, when we saw pictures of it and stuff. I think it was around that, like, Pokemon Snap era, when we were playing Pokemon Snap yeah. and stuff oh, like that. Oh my gosh, Pokemon Snap was so good. Yeah. Do you remember the, uh, the duck, like, the Mighty Ducks looking cloud that we used to take pictures of? It looked like one of the Mighty Ducks, like, helmet. You know how they have, like, the, the, it's like a duck head, but, like, with, like, holes in it, like it's a yeah. hockey helmet? Yeah. And it, and it was the cloud, like, that shape. Do you remember that? It was yeah, on the river level. The outside. Yeah, it was on oh, the river yeah, level. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. we're like, about. looks like the Mighty Duck helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Take a bunch of pictures of the cloud, which Oak didn't like, because there's no Pokemon in it. He's like, that, yeah. that picture is terrible. Do you want to delete it? I'm like, no, it's my Mighty Duck cloud. Like, why do you want to delete that? <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it alone, but it's not, like, per game. <laughs> Screw you, Oak. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's like, zero. <laughs> there's no Pokemon in it at all. And we... <laughs> we got a Game Boy Color one Christmas at the same time, and it was like kind of an epic story because I think somehow like neither you... of us got Pokemon though, like we wanted. Okay, that's what it was. And you got Donkey Kong. Yeah, and I got Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. That's right. <laughs> and that was shortly before we went to Texas. Yeah, I think because I remember playing that on the way. And uh, I remember you showed up at my house, and you're like, dude. You yeah. showed me your. Yeah. He had a see-through purple Game Boy Color. Yep. And I wanted the teal one because it was like both of our colors, favorite colors mixed, blue and green. Yep. And uh, which is why we called ourselves the Teal Avengers on my rap <laughs> video that's on this channel. Yeah. By the way, go yeah. check it out. <laughs> it was He's fun. the one on the rap video yep. with me. By the way, that's me. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> it's on this channel. <laughs> oh, cool, yeah. cool. Um, by the way, if, I haven't if you're... seen a bunch of these videos, but I'm gonna have to check them out. I don't have internet or anything like that. So. <laughs> yeah, dude. If you're watching on VidMe, by the way, go over to my YouTube channel and you'll see my. Because I'm also uploading on this other site. Oh, okay, that's cool. So the rap video is over there too. It's funny. You but like uh, it. this is gonna be a long video, by the way, because we have a lot yeah. of crap to talk about. That's right. Um, <laughs> gotta log it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he showed up with that Game Boy Color, and then he was like, oh, "I didn't get Pokemon though. Like we really wanted. He wanted. Did you want yellow?" Yeah. Or was yellow out yet? I, I no, think you got I blue. wanted like blue or red. I got yellow, but I wanted blue. You had red, I think. Yeah. I wanted blue, but got yellow, which was basically like blue, so I just went ahead and was just like, well, it's fine. I had a Pikachu that followed me around. Basically, we didn't have the games yet, and he was like, oh, I got, I got Donkey Kong. And I was like, I got Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. Like, my mom tried to get me the Pokemon, but she grabbed the wrong Pokemon game. Like, she didn't know there's a difference. <laughs> so, so like, a week later or something, we ended up getting Pokemon. Yeah, together with the same... So, it was like, we both got Game Boy when we didn't expect to, kind of. And then they both got Pokemon when we didn't expect to. What you got? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I don't I don't have mine anymore, exactly. And it's in storage, guys. This is my teal Game Boy Color I was talking about, the exact one. I still have it. That brings back a lot of memories of seeing it. I had yeah. that same pouch that he's got there. And then, uh... One day Eric was at Walmart and he was like, I know this is not a, like a very important story right here, but he's like, <laughs> he's like, hey dude, they have these really cool cases here. And I was like, oh, get me one. They're cool cases. And it was this, which is all dirty now, but it fit had a pouch. Yeah. And like, I remember we were like, look, you can, you can play your game through your case. And then we realized how uncomfortable it was. So we it never did that. Pain in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> Pull it out. Yeah. And it then it had this scary. freaking zipper where we kept our games and the zipper would always get caught like it is right now. Do you remember the zipper doing that? Yeah, I do. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was like, a, we wore it as a necklace all the time. Cause it's like oh yeah. Cord. We'd be walking around like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you gave me another case to begin with, and I was supposed to give it back to you, and I still have it somewhere. That's and, okay. <laughs> and I, ever since I it was like blue, and ever since I you said that, I was like, oh, I'll give this back to Eric. I've been saying that for like 20 years to myself. Like, <laughs> Gotta give this back to Eric. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me, honestly. <laughs> okay, we have a lot it. of stuff that's like washing between us anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next thing here is, we did the Dakota Stories, the Woods, Techno, Meeting. Game, game. Oh, Gaming I don't think pass. we said anything about the light shade, though. Oh, yeah. Like, there was a, a time where his mom was going to the lake, or where a lot of people were going to the lake. We were invited. We lived out in the country. There were lakes and rivers and, like, mm -hmm. good old country bullish. Oh, oh, yeah. Anyways. Go <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> And so everybody wanted to go to the lake, which was a super pain in the butt for us because, A, our 
battery will die on our Game Boy. And we don't have backlights on our Game oh, Boy wait. colors. That was back before they could charge, and we had to actually go buy batteries for them and have a oh. bunch of backup, and we kept them in these pouches. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I forget about that. Oh, yeah, we had batteries. our extra batteries in Yeah, you remember that? And we'd, like, freeze them because we couldn't go buy batteries, so we <laughs> thought that would recharge them. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if we freeze the batteries. <laughs> My freaking freezer is always full of batteries that didn't work. <laughs> and I just put it back. Maybe it's not charged enough. It's been in there, like, a year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. I forgot all about those batteries for some reason i'm so used to having chargeable batteries but anyways <laughs> and so his mom and the family go to go to the lake and we have they the house to ourselves yeah and we stay up all night playing pokemon and we make this big pot of coffee and we're drinking this like super thick coffee <laughs> all night and then we take off the lampshades because for some reason we don't have the backlight on the game boy so we want to be able to see if it you remember you had to get that light that like <laughs> and but we didn't have that so. yeah so we took off the lampshade and kind of leaned up on the couch we like huddled around one lamp, <laughs> like on one couch and on the other couch. But it, and so anyway, we're sitting here playing this all night, and his mom comes home, and we've still got the lampshades off, and she thinks that we're like doing drugs or something. It seems weird, like got the lampshades off. We're still sitting. Our there. eyes are all like bloodshot, <laughs> coffeeed up, twitching, we're going, going for this this Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were searching for the unknowns. I remember. I think. Oh, were we playing silver and gold? At that time? I think so. Oh, okay. Because yeah. it was another Christmas that we came through, and we got silver and gold. We got those legit right away that yeah, time. Yeah. We, we were seasoned by that time. Yeah, and we were, like, planning it by that time. By the way, do you remember when, before the internet stuff, we beat silver and gold, and then we figured out you could sail over back to Kanto? Oh. And we were like, we were like what is I, want, I think you beat it before me, and you're like, dude, you can, like, go to this new area. And I'm like, are you serious? Let me see. Yeah. What? There's another gym? <laughs> what? There's... Lieutenant Surge again? What, yeah. Like, and STM Rock? Like, like, <laughs> and I remember talking to Oren on the bus, and he was like, you can go to Kanto. Go back to Kanto. Johto. Johto. <laughs> he was this big, lanky country boy. Like He reminded me of like the, big, the, other day. the big nose kid off of Hey Arnold. Oh, like, yeah? Hey, yeah. Arnold, <laughs> yeah. you better come on. <laughs> it was that kid, pretty much. He asked me for a job, and I was like, I, I was thinking about maybe putting my name out for him, and I was like, Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> he's kind of mixed up with He's trying right, to screw you over because we still owed him some Pokemon cards or something. Yeah. I, we, every single day on the last day of school, we would try to see how much stuff we could borrow. We were crappy kids. <laughs> what, what do you do? We, we'd be like, he was like, I was like the, like the mind who was like, dude, you should try this. And he's like, all right. And then like, they trusted him for some reason. Yeah. And he'd be like, hey, Orin, can I borrow this uh, Transformer real quick or this Pokemon card just for the summer? Come back after summer. I don't remember that. <laughs> and we'd be about? talking about like our next hit and what what our wish list is and what we need to be planning on, who to be buddying up with to get whatever we were. Trying. <laughs> Brad Finnegan had a scyther. He's the only one with a scyther. Remember that? Oh yeah. He sat like, there with a stingy little scyther. <laughs> he was actually a shy kid. We thought he was just stingy with a scyther. Freaking. We'd be like, hey dude, I heard you had a scyther, and he's like, yeah. Like, but our bus, like, you you were known by the card you had. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and then, hey, Poliwhirl. I remember Oren was the first one to show up with the Johto um, legendary, some of the Johto legendaries. He'd be like, oh, oh Lugia card, and, like, we hadn't started buying them yet. I or see. Whatever, or we stopped yeah. buying them, I don't remember. I remember. But, uh, and then there's this kid named Chris Thurman oh, that lived yeah. on my road. Had plush uh, Beanie Babies. He had a million Beanie Babies. Yeah. But, uh... I remember he had a Tauros, which, as many of you know, is not a rare card. It's uncommon. It's yeah. got like a diamond. Yeah. Um, and I was like, hey, uh, I'll give you this card you don't have for a Tauros. And he's like, no. You just, I'm not giving it to you because you just because you don't want because you want it. So it must be good. <laughs> and I was like, it's not good. I just don't have it. He's like, nope. I'm not giving it. Nope. Nope. And I was like, dude, I'm offered. I think I, I offered him like that. three cards for it. And he's like, nope, just because you want it. That right there is America, folks. Yeah. <laughs> nope, nope, you want it. That's that's why. eBay and like, oh, it's this much just because you want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But anyways, no joke. screw that kid. And no one else could care about it. It's just like, oh, well, I've got something good. It's like, it's not even that good. <laughs> it's not good. I just want it. I don't have it. Like, yeah, no, just cut me a break here. I'm literally doubling your collection just for that Tauros. So you won't give it. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> doubling your collection. He had one card. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of what my... I'm trying to roll into the next one, but I was trying to read and I can't think of many things at the same time I have to think of one um well do you guys remember the uh, PlayStation Underground demo discs <laughs> yeah I sure do <laughs> I had you, one you could play like a bunch of different games if you don't know what they are many of you probably do basically you would get like a disc with like a PlayStation magazine or something and I nine <laughs> yeah and it'd come with like a bunch of different games just on it like you could try like 30 minutes of a game or something yep so like 
there was a basketball game on there. It only let you play at the quarter. Oh yeah, if that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we would like we'd be. Oh. I think we were on the same team every time. Yep. So we're like West versus East. Yeah. So we we're like, you know, like oh, like, oh yeah, let's try to beat these guys. Blah blah blah. Freaking, some, one of us hits a game winner or something. I'm like, oh! freak out. This is in the dead of the night, like super late. His, My mom's a jerk. His, sometimes <laughs> his mom was like dead asleep, and we hear like because it was like the living room, and then his mom's room right here, like yeah. thin walls. Yeah, we, yeah. And uh, she had a sliding door. We all lived in trailers back in the day. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we yell. <laughs> humble up, we hear. We pause. Like, <sighs> better be quiet. We start hearing some footsteps stomping towards yeah, the door. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> We're like, oh my gosh. And then... <laughs> yeah, that thing was like rattling and then all of a sudden it's like... <laughs> she didn't slide the door down. She she knocked that door down. <laughs> yeah, she did. And we just roll over like this with, with our blankets. Like, yeah, we didn't even do anything. We just <laughs> set the controller down like click. <laughs> scared Going straight to sleep. Yeah, I remember that. Oh my gosh. That was so scary too. Never played a basketball game again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Speaking of scary stories, we also came across a lot of like haunted stuff. Oh my like, woods I think are haunted. Yeah. The woods and and your old house yeah. that we By lived the way, in. that trailer that we were talking about with his mom, it was on the same land as the aunt and uncle's trailer. Like they had two trailers kind mm -hmm. of like with yeah. one yard in between pretty much. My mom was basically getting a deal from my uncle who His uncle was her sister. Her brother. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so she was living on his land on a different trailer they had, and that's where we were living. By the way, we gotta tell the Willie Popcorn story later. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Actually, no, we gotta tell that right all now, right. guys, before we move into anything. I had this. Uh, my, he's dead now, but I had a grandpa, and his name was Willie. And he Big old to, Santa Claus looking dude. He had a back problem to where he had to like lean up on a counter all the time. Oh, yeah. And his back didn't work really good or else he'd go pop his own popcorn. Yeah. But he liked popcorn and he said, hey, you guys go pop me some popcorn. He called us heathens all the he, time. He was very abrasive and yeah. like loud. <laughs> yeah. And he was like... <laughs> Always shirtless, a bunch of white chest hair just like curled up right here. And he'd yeah. be eating and it'd just fall on his chest hair and stay there yeah. <laughs> constantly. <laughs> and so he would say... Go get me some popcorn out of that microwave. Go get some popcorn. <laughs> popcorn, you heathens. <laughs> and we would go pop like 10 seconds in this popcorn. To like three like a, of them popped. Yeah, it's like this. Like this. And we were like, here you go. We thought it was like, the funniest oh, thing ever. So mad we'd run away. Like, you worse than a whole bag of popcorn, you little heathens. <laughs> and we were like, ah, you can't get us. Pop your own popcorn, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> We, were mean, uh, we used to like raid his floppy disks. Yeah, like, <laughs> just because we wanted blank ones to save random files because computers were cool back then. Yeah, if you like, had a file, it was cool. I remember like <laughs> he like had these stack of like colored floppy disks. I never, mm -hmm. I don't know if you knew this, but I never seen colored ones before. And I was like, dude, he got like a blue one and like a, and he had, like, a freaking stack of them. I don't. Oh, you, I I'm see. Assuming I, he got them from Willie. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I from for sure. We found a lot of stuff we won't discuss on there. It's not like sexual, but it's little. Remember, like, some, like, racist stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <it laughs> but was. Willie was old, so... He was a racist guy, and he had a lot of books that he wrote about racism. Oh, he did? His views, yeah. But I don't I agree with any of that, but, like, yeah. he didn't... I had my little brother's half black, and he, like, didn't want to be around him at first, which he ended up changing that because he saw him, but at first he... And then that made my mom not really want to be around him, so we didn't associate with him for like the last half basically he's a grumpy old man yeah but uh <laughs> <laughs> anyways back to the scary stories scary that's well, right oh heathens are gonna talk about some scary stories <laughs> all right <he> <laughs> <laughs> they his woods were kind of haunted and this isn't really or like so a haunted story <laughs> it's like a, a numerous mistake. events yeah wait or what's the, mistake? the first mistake the first one was gonna miss, be a mistake and it's a bag that was hanging up in a tree, like oh, the yeah. wind blew this white plastic bag and got it caught in a tree, and so or it was a dinner plate. I think it was a white bag or something. It was but white. Basically, it's a trash. our tr our trash cans would be by the road, and like the neighborhood dogs, yeah, all over the place. They'd get into trash a lot, and yeah. so like a random white paper plate like floated up in a tree, and, and it's hanging up there. But we think it's like a mask, and like it's Michael like Myers. Or something. It's like head level, so. We think somebody's standing there, like, watching. And for some reason, we're thinking about, like, it being, like... Michael Myers. Hey, there's somebody standing there watching us. Like, why wouldn't they just come and kill us? But we don't. Like, standing we there. had a really long trailer. <laughs> in the back of the trailer, like, half of the whole wall was a window. Mm -hmm. And we had a curtain. Big and the curtain window. rod was really, really <laughs> not, not sturdy. <laughs> so it was him, me, and our friend Brad. Yeah. I actually, I don't think you like Brad anymore, but... I don't mind Brad. Oh, okay. Anyways. 
That's another story. <laughs> Brad, if you're watching, I don't mind you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Brad's the one with the scyther. We eventually yeah. became friends, but yeah. I never got a scyther. He ended up kissing one of my girlfriends one time, and that's what made me just fall out, but I don't even know that person anymore, so it doesn't matter. But anyways. He's married to another girl with a baby. He doesn't care about that. That's right. That but, hoe. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so the curtain falls down while we're, we're like, all We're all like peeking, peeking through. Yeah. And it falls down instantly. I don't know what made it fall down, but it was like, poof, and we're all standing there. We're trying to be sneaky, kind of like, whoa. Do you and you know how person? if it's dark outside and the lights are on in the window, like, you can see in perfectly. You can't see out very well, but yeah. you can see in. And we're all just like standing right there, like, ah! like We're like trying to like peek on this guy. <laughs> yeah. And all of a sudden, poof, <laughs> <laughs> ah, hit the floor. We drop. I got like my BB gun. Oh, like, yeah, I remember that. We all... Didn't somebody have like a stick or something? I think that was me. Yeah. <laughs> One of you had like a broom, or I don't know something. We had we had we had we had weapons. We had, our, shift we had our goonie weapons. <laughs> yeah, and that, then, that reminds me of uh, doing this stuff at your house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> window. <laughs> One of us would like. Oh, and it, he had, this is just a little side trail. Yeah, sorry. He he, li he moved into this house and more, which is like a it was Pretty a newer nice edition. House. Yeah, it's like a uh, like it was a, nicest I've ever lived in. It was like a Oklahoma two hundred thousand dollar house, which would equal to like probably like. A million dollars in California, like Oklahoma's cheap. Oh yeah. Um. Anyway, brand new house, brand newly built, and he had a big window in the front. <laughs> we, we would it'd be nighttime. We'd like stay up all night doing stupid stuff. Um. We peek out the window and we see a car coming. <laughs> we oh, one yeah. of us would one of us would flash his shutters like we'd like because <laughs> really he had the kind of do this. Yeah. We'd, we'd, we'd be like. <laughs> And the other one be dancing into where you can see right into the window, and you're like, <laughs> and the car people be like, flash, like <laughs> drive by like, lights what the behind heck? you, so it's like your just silhouette of <laughs> like an old iPod commercial kind of. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyways, that was... that's pretty funny. And then I lived in this one place for a little while, and I don't. It doesn't matter where, but it was in a duplex, and there was a basketball court across the street, and we were just walking over there, and I guess it was kind of a bad part of town a little bit, but. We're just walking was over there to play basketball. Midwest City? No, no, where was that? It was in the South Oklahoma City, oh. 89th and Western. Oh, he knows. <laughs> but <laughs> I lived there since. Oh, and got yeah, my radio the apartment. Oh, yeah. yeah. You okay. came and visited me. There. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Okay. <laughs> and so um, the, the apartments, we're going to what? We're going to play basketball. And for some reason, we go over there. I'm not sure if it's people we already played or people we haven't played yet. I, I don't I've never we, seen them before. Okay, I think that they were just random strangers, and they drove past, and they just was like, said something to us, and they pointed a gun They at said, us. pow. Yeah. And he had the gun in his hand, and we were like, no basketball. We went home. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It was like crazy. We were like, what? And I heard of drug deals going down at that basketball oh, really? court. Like, I, would, oh. they, I was there, and they're like talking, and I was like, a bunch of other kids are there, too, and the, the adults are over there in the corner, and it's like, what, what are they doing? <laughs> oh, well, so we'll get to the paranormal stories in a second, but oh, yeah. do you remember the guy giving us candy, or offering us candy? Yeah. He did give us candy. Yeah, and we didn't eat it. Her, his mom was gone one day, and we're like walking through these apartments. This is a different apartment. He moved a lot. Yeah. Like, yeah. a lot. Anyways, we walk through his apartments, and this guy walks up, he's like, are your parents home? <laughs> and we're like, yeah. Like, we're lying, you know. But he was obviously more seasoned than me, because I was straight up going to say no. I don't know why. <laughs> and then and then they're like, well, here's some candy. And he, like, offers, me this, offers us this candy. And then I was going to refuse the candy, but Eric takes it. <laughs> I only did it so that he wouldn't have any... Yeah. Uh, it was for some in, reason I was we get inside to... and I was like you're not going to eat that are you he's like no <laughs> like spikes it in the freaking trash <laughs> <laughs> quickly yeah like, I, like, I don't know if that guy was going to like like drug us and rape and murder right, us yeah. or watching for us to see if we're stumbling yeah. roofies or something that was know. just a really weird situation I mean he yeah. might have been a nice you guy just giving us candy? candy it's just weird to ask where your parents are and then if you have if you want some candy. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, the epitome of creepers. Right, we're just hanging out on a porch and, like, playing around <laughs> close to the proximity of the door. You yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so weird. But, yeah, we did a lot of crazy stuff like that. But we'll go to Paranormal now. Okay. My woods. That's right. Um, <laughs> the first thing I'll say is I had another friend named Mitchell who... <laughs> I remember Mitchell crying. Sorry, we keep, we keep branching off. What do you do? <laughs> what do, you do? <laughs> do you remember Mitchell crying? No. Remember the C4 on the wall? Okay, well, him and Mitchell were talking I about Metal Gear Solid. They were having in the debacle, but I don't remember him crying. Yeah, him and him and Mitchell were d discussing Metal Gear Solid, mm -hmm. and Eric said, "Oh yeah, that part you just put the C4 on the wall." And Mitchell says, "You can't put C4 on a wall." And Eric's like, "Yeah, you can. I did it." You can. There's a little cut out box, and it's like 
you can see the C4 on there, but you go and say you push interact, and then it appears where that little see-through. Yeah. Now box that I'm was. thinking about, it, I think Mitchell was thinking that he that he I was saying you can just randomly. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, I wasn't saying that you can just put it. on But I remember it'd be like kind of like a faded out one, like that's where yeah, it goes. Yeah. And he puts it there. Well, they can like. <laughs> <laughs> Eric's not really like heated, but Mitchell's getting like, no, no. You I'm know? just trying to make sure that people know that I've played the game and know what I'm talking about with the game. You know, so Mitchell just... starts crying yeah. and goes home. So <laughs> I felt kind of bad because I've run into Mitchell since. I, mean, yeah. I haven't told you this. Oh no! And he, he was he at my in Washington store. Now. No, he doesn't. He came in my store not long ago. They moved back. I maybe it was oh. Mitchell Rose, and I recognized his no, face. No, Mitchell Wade, not Mitchell Rose. Oh, Mitchell Rose is a different guy. I see. Mitchell Wade's the one with the arm problem. That's right. He's like darker complected. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I saw Mitchell Rose and for some reason thought, this must be the high school. The... No, Mitchell Rose is a douchebag. I don't hang out with him. Gotcha. I don't know Mitchell Rose. Mitchell Rose is here, don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Oh, I don't know. Sorry, Mitchell Mitchell Rose. Uh, no, this <laughs> never happened. We like you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Somebody's like, hey, Mitchell Rose, my friend. Anyways, my friend Mitchell, who I was just discussing, he came over and spent the night one time. I wake up in the morning. He's laying there still wide awake. It was like it was like one of those moments where you wake up to just kind of pee, and it's like super early, and you're like, you're like, oh, I'm going back to sleep. Though I look over, he's wide awake, and I'm just like, what are you doing? And this is before cell phones. He's not sitting there on a cell phone or anything. He's like, dude, dude, I don't, I'm not spending that here anymore. I was like, why? And he's like, and I was like, did you even sleep? He's like, no. He said he heard uh, footsteps come down my hallway, which my hallway was really creaky. Like, do you remember that? Yeah, I do remember the like, creaky hallway, like the, but I don't remember the story, so I'm listening to oh, it. Oh, well, <laughs> well, he was like, I heard footsteps come all the way down your hallway and stop in, in front of your door. And I was like, I was like, nah, uh And he's like, he's like, yeah, and besides that, I heard bells outside, like right outside your window, just bells chiming. And, I, and he, he was just saying he was so scared. And well, I live out in the country, okay? There's no, there's no, like, cars driving by or, like, anything going on, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, exactly. way You're out in the country. Stagnant. It took me, like, 45 minutes to get to Walmart or something. Yeah. So, uh... Not very many neighbors. <laughs> yeah, your neighbors are, like, really 10 acres away, away from yeah. you. But, uh, so, yeah, he never spent the night again, and I never heard that stuff happen, but that happened. <laughs> yeah. So. And then one time when we were in Moore, at my house in Moore that we were talking about with that big window. Yeah. <laughs> window there was one time where we were watching tv and this completely like as still as this pokeball here sitting there as still as that somehow just knocked off the tv and it like, landed like normal yeah like, didn't it land normal yeah it did like it's like like land it was it was, <laughs> yeah, we were just weird. Like, everybody there was like kind of playing and stuff we weren't really playing like enough to it was a house with a concrete foundation. It's not like a... And his mom would work all day, and we'd be, like, running around the house doing stuff. But yeah, was, you oh. could say that air gusts maybe moved throughout that. It's a candle. It's heavy. It's not, like, something that just blows yeah. off a TV. It was weird. <laughs> yeah. Not only that, but in that same house, in the bedroom one night, there was some shorts laying on the floor. Black. Well, we didn't know there were shorts at first. You're right. We didn't know that they It were. was dark, and I was asleep on the floor. Or I was going to sleep on the floor. Yeah. And I have a cat that's black at this time. And it run. I I think that the cat's laying there, and it runs to go get something. And I'm kind of interested at that point because it ran so fast. No, 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 that's not. She remember she and he used to have to like get up and be like, oh, find boots and like let her out, you know. Yeah, that's right. She would like be at the door like, like trying to get to her litter box or something. But I saw her dart. Yeah, and it went over me. Like I felt it go over me. Yeah. And, but I didn't think anything. I was like, I thought it was his cat because he said boots again, you know. Like, yeah. <laughs> and so I go over there to like. Because the cat's not responsive to my words. I'm getting up already. It yeah. usually has moved by now. It's yeah. just sitting there. And I go over there and I touch it. And it's shorts. It's a yeah. pair of shorts. And I pick it up. I'm like, he I just out. watched it zip across and the And I'm court. laying there. It goes, It went over me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, when I touched it, the shorts were over here. Because I took them off next to the bed to get in bed. Shorts on the bed. Like some black basketball shorts. Yeah. And then... <laughs> A zip across the floor, and now they're on the other side of the room. And I didn't take them off over there. It was yeah. weird. That's scary. In that in that same house, by the way, I mean, I don't. This is a brand new house. No one yeah. like, died in it. Exactly. We were the first ones to live in. I'm it. showering. Okay, I'm like mm -hmm, shower, shower. He had a he had a really nice um like they hold up your shower curtains. Oh, really yeah. nice heavy metal like shower, shower curtain. curtain holder. Like really things. sturdy. I'm like I have cheap ones. Like they're like little plastic rings and stuff. But anyways. Sorry, but so do we, I. We have pizza. <laughs> yeah, pizza's yeah. good. But uh, but uh, I'm sitting there showering. One of those flies in front of my face and nails the wall and falls down <gasps> into the the tub. 
Okay, those things are heavy. Like, remember how heavy and bulky the metal of those were? Yeah. And I'm thinking it's him, and I'm like, I open the curtain, I'm like, Eric. And, like, I go check the door, door's locked. Somehow, it come, came off of the shower curtain, flew into the wall next to me. I don't know, dude. I swear that happened. That's crazy, though. Golly. This <laughs> is a really weird situation. Yeah. That's, I mean, I, I, w I was there at the house when that happened. I was like, I mean, when I heard that, I honestly was like, yeah, it was loud. It was like, with pow! Me. And since it had been the, around the same era of all that other paranormal stuff, I thought you were like, since it was only you around it, I was thinking that you were just coming up with some crap. Really? Because it was around the era, and so it's like, yeah. <laughs> that's really weird, though. And for the fact that I've, like, messed with a demon possession before... <laughs> It's, like, yeah. really weird for me because it's, like, now I always feel presences. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? I can't even take the trash out without... He thinks the werewolves are following him. Yeah, I'm super scared of werewolves. So if you want to mess with me... American werewolves in Paris, they could freaking stand up and stuff. Yeah, like... <laughs> and then, like, you see their vision on the movie and it's, like, they're all woof, woof, running toward you and you just, like, I picture myself, like, heated in the distance where the thing's just running toward me. I'm like, oh. If you haven't seen that movie, go watch it, by the way. It's pretty super good. scary. Watch out for the part when he's in the bed strapped down because he's going to flip over oh, and start yeah. crawling <gasps> himself toward you. And oh, yeah, he's like... <laughs> yeah. Oh. Like, bed stuck to him. I hate that movie. I hate that movie, dude. <laughs> uh, There's also an older one, American Werewolf in London. I haven't London. seen that one, uh, and it's I won't good watch too. it because I'm so scared of the first one. That I watched. They're like, <laughs> we we used to call her. We used to act like we were those werewolves, though. Yeah, and we were like the European ones were the stronger ones. <laughs> yeah, I'm dude. a European werewolf. <laughs> well, dang it, I'm just a regular American. Gall. Oh. <laughs> less, lesser blood. <laughs> <laughs> and then another thing, we'd be in the lake and uh, we'd play Alloraptors. <laughs> yeah. Like, we were, like, it was just an alligator-raptor hybrid. I and, like, remember that. We'd that get in the water like this, and like, <laughs> but we're walking on our legs, you know? So that's what made us be raptors, because we obviously can't, like... <laughs> yeah, we walk, and then... And I, I pictured mine having, like, a slight flipper wedge oh, really? toe. Remember we talked about yeah. this, like, in between, so they can... Well, like, what do they do? They just do this. This is what they do, and they, and they, and they put their water to here. But then you can't breathe, so you go... Yeah. Then you, then you gulp some of that piss water. Because <laughs> you're in the freaking lake, nasty lake. Because you just used the restroom? <laughs> no. This is warm. <laughs> if you're cold, just fix it. No. <laughs> you just punch in the bomb. <laughs> well, get... Us being boys at the time, obviously, we had our interests in the other opposite sex. And, uh, oh, yeah. I'm in we, uh,. I had to step. You said at the us time. being boys at the time. We're still boys. <laughs> We're kind of men now. I would say. We're men. We're men now. Men. <laughs> <laughs> well, my my stepdad had a bunch of Playboy magazines. He like in his collected closet. them. He's a yeah, collector of them. Yeah, a bunch, a whole bunch, and uh, they were all pristine condition until we got a hold of them, <laughs> and we'd go hide them. Under my mattress. Well, no, you used to... Wait, how, tell them how you okay, got them. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'd have to sneak into the closet while they were asleep. The closet's on the opposite side of the room from yeah, the Yeah, so I'm, like, crawling through the He's bedroom. Like, army man crawling. Yeah, literally, like, <laughs> opening a box, taking, like, three or four of these magazines at a time. I'd be like, I remember, get the Posh Spice one. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark in there, and I can't even... I don't even know which... You know? Like, yeah. I couldn't pick which one. I couldn't see it all. It was like, I feel magazines in here taking them <laughs> you know <laughs> try to go i had to like try to remember when i where the posh spice one was on the... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyways posh spice if you're out there we dug you <laughs> um and so we started stacking them under my mattress and after, he had a bunk bed yeah we had a bunk bed and i was the top bunk yeah you slept on the top i slept bunk. on the top bunk and we would keep my mattresses like in between mattresses there was like a was there only one mattress? It was like, it was like wood. I, that's right. And then, but there was, seems like there was some something there because it had to have been. For it a, had to have been like a box spring, maybe. Okay, some sort yeah. of small little something that partitioned in between the mattress and the little bars underneath the mattress, and in between there we would hide uh, all Play the Playboys. Just yeah. Store them up under the. We slicker. told ourselves that we were going to take them back after we were, we were done with them, but we never could part with them. <laughs> so, to <laughs> the, the point, oh, hand, hand me that one. <laughs> that <Yeah>. one. <laughs> We have like a, a, a space in between growing, in between the mattresses, but it's towards the back against the wall. So the lump is starting to raise in the back. And yes, we're moving. Mattress is like... <laughs> we go to move, and I forget that they're under there. 
And apparently I'm not even over there at the time. <laughs> or maybe I was, but in a different I think, room. I think you were there. I must have been. And your dad, like, takes your bed apart? My dad goes and takes the top mattress off because he goes to move it. And, like, it's like... <laughs> like this waterfall of mattresses and <laughs> magazines comes... Playboy. <laughs> Fall, there were some DVDs the under there too. Yeah, like all we used to have like Playboy DVDs. Oh, it was like somebody stumbling into your lock vault of. <laughs> and I didn't even want my vault. parents to know I like girls at the time. So like <laughs> at the time, like his dad was like really good friends with my stepdad, mm-hmm. and so I was like, Eric, you didn't tell him I had anything to do with this, did you? He's like, yeah. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so yeah, I ousted him quick because I was so embarrassed. <laughs> Everybody's pounding me right on the spot. Like, he had to oh, be there with like, his whole family. Like, what is this? Yeah, oh, my whole family. People came to help us move and stuff. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> and then his stepdad's probably embarrassed because like oh, they're all his. It's like, his. Where yeah. did I get those? <laughs> <laughs> my dad's there for some reason. This is a weird setup. I got it when is. I was growing up. <laughs> oh, that was good times. Oh though. man, we had some good times. Like, but uh. <laughs> Uh, the other, a different story. <laughs> oh, side note. <laughs> yeah. We used to, never, I'm not going to get into that. The sneak in people's movies. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Yeah, let's not go there. <laughs> uh, well, one of the, we usually got along. <laughs> but this one time we didn't. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> wait, do you remember on, uh, was it Mario 3? Yep, Super Mario Brothers 3. Like, with the raccoon tail. You'd play, you'd play in two player, and you'd go into like, uh, a pipe or something. It'd be a little mini game mm-hmm. to where if you jump on the other one, you can like take their star from them or something, right? Yep. And there was this little thing in the middle that was like a star. You can get and like, you could jump on it and it would turn everything upside down. Yeah. It was like a pow. Yeah. Pow. Well, he, he we, we always agreed not to take the other person's star. We would take turns getting a star so that we could kill some people. Yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> okay, all right, it's my turn. He said it's his turn. So yeah. I took a star. <laughs> he took my star and I. He flipped out. He's like swinging at me. <laughs> <laughs> Took my throw controller, threw it at him. I think I was. Like, yeah, I was so he was, mad. He was like flailing at me, and I was like, <laughs> "I'm going home." I couldn't <laughs> take it. I lived across the street, so I went home. <laughs> he went home, and then and we're all mad at each other. We're, we're like, sitting there sulking for a minute. And then my phone rings. <laughs> I'm like, "Hey, can, can so, I come over?" Yeah, hey, you, you <laughs> do something. Like, Sorry about that. All right, fine. That's He's cool. like. It's no big deal. Let's do it. Let's hang out. Yeah, it was just like one of the funniest fights ever. <laughs> there was another one where we were like fighting out in the yard, and he uh, he had this big jacket, like a big oh, puffy coat. Yep. He swings at me. I catch his arm, and I have like his jacket arm. Like he had pulled his arm or something. I'm like swinging him just by this jacket. <laughs> I, I swing him me. on the ground, and I think I kicked you maybe. Maybe. I don't remember. I remember but, I lost the fight. But he jumps up. He's like, that's it. And I'm like, oh, what's on now? He's like, I'm telling. And he <laughs> runs off to his house. I'm like, what the heck? To me, at the point, that was like the all yeah. topper. You didn't mess with telling. Cause... I just remember, that's it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we're going Duke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling. <laughs> I thought that telling was like, you couldn't. You couldn't yeah, it. he's like, I trumped you. <laughs> yeah. I got, our, I got the solution to this sucker. I'm telling. And he's like. Well, I'm going home. <laughs> we'll probably call each other again. Hey, you want to hang out? <laughs> no, that was fun. Oh, we skipped a bunch of scary stories, though, I just realized. What scary stories? Like, the one where I was at my bus stop at the end of the driveway, and I used to have a white dog named Puppy, and, like, we had a fenced-in backyard, and I could see Puppy going towards the uh, fence, or I thought it was Puppy, and I was like, Puppy! I'm, like, yelling at him, and then he goes through the fence, it wasn't puppy. I remember you telling me that. It was something else, white, yeah. like a white figure. And I was just like, oh my god. It was like really super early in the morning, it was still dark. That's crazy. And so I freaking took off running to my house. Like I was like, uh-uh. I'm not yeah. being outside with that, whatever that is. Oh my gosh, yeah, I bet. I and would. Then in, my werewolf scare. Yeah. <laughs> and then in one time, Minnie, who you've all met many, many times, mm. when Minnie was super young, she walked into my room when I was like, I was like asleep, half asleep. And I was like, Minnie. And then I hear, what? And I was like, I woke up and like, oh my god, Minnie just talked. But I don't know what, I might have been dreaming. But. That's crazy. And uh, do you remember that story with my sister's doll? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> there was a story where like my sister, she had this doll. A freaking Cabbage Patch Kids doll she got from a garage sale. Yeah, and so we're over at Corey's house. In his room of doom, which was super cool. It used to be two rooms, but we knocked out the middle, middle wall and, like, had it all organized. Like, one side was, really like, a living room and had, like, my computer and my TV and, like, a couch TV and station. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And, like, I had, like, 
it's, I think it's still my drawers now, actually, like my dresser. You pull the you pull the drawers out and it'd be games. And then you can lift the couch and there'd be like more games under oh, there. Oh, yeah. There'd be like a sexual games in it. I remember that. And he had this white um, end table type deal that had like an opening door and it had Mario and Nintendo. Dude, those are really expensive it. and rare now. I knew it was expensive and rare then. I was like, this is super awesome. Yeah, I, somebody got one on Facebook and I was like, I was like, oh my gosh! And they're like, they're like, oh, find of the year and this and that. And I like look on eBay and they're expensive. I wish I still had. I remember leaving it there. It's like, uh, the legs coming off. Like, could have easily fixed that. Yeah, we could have fixed that in a heartbeat, dude. Oh, I wish I still. And had it would that. be so cool in here. It was like a. It's like I don't know. It wasn't that high. It, it was, was white and it had Mario on it. You could open it and I'd, it had like a game. Yeah, I think you could slide games. It was there. older for older games, so the newer games you had to kind of make it work. But it, yeah. it was cool. It was really cool. Yeah, we'd like keep them in there. Uh, their game exchange plastic cases. Like, oh yeah, and it's in there a lot yeah. easier. That's right. I remember that. I love that thing. But uh, continue. The and, doll. Oh, that's right. And so this doll, I think I it was just laying there, or I picked it up, and it wasn't. Mm, um, it was in her. Remember, we wanted her headphones, and we're digging around in her backpack oh, for her right. headphones. Yep. Yep. Because we want to play our walkman, and we grab it to move it to look. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's like, um, I like school. Do you like school? School's fun. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and we're like, ah! and it does not have a voice box. Afterwards, we pick it up and it's plush, completely plush. Well, we ran in the living room, and David was there. Your dad was there. Like everyone, everybody's was there. there having drinks and stuff. Yeah, they're all just like hanging out. Yeah, and they did that a lot, a lot. And we tell them like, Sarah's doll just talked. And, <laughs> And then they asked Sarah, like, does your doll talk? She's like, no, they don't talk. And they're like, what? They're laughing at us, you know, like, whatever. Yeah. And they said, bring it here. And we bring it in there, and they're like, inspecting it. Like, yeah, I mean, it was... Nothing. No, no, <laughs> no batteries, no voice box, nothing. Yeah. It's just a plush <laughs> cabbage patch, paid cabbage patch kids doll with, like, a hard plastic head. That's all it was. Yeah. Freaking, was... it was old and dirty. And... I know, Why'd she even get that? I would leave garage that in the sale. freaking garage sale. You know what I mean? Like, when you're at a garage sale, you just want to have something to take with you. And sometimes it's like the best pick you can find. It reminds <laughs> me. One time, I used to love Jurassic Park when I was really little. Yeah. And uh, I, I think it was, like Jurassic Park I think it was even like you had a bunch of cool yeah. Jurassic Park toys. Remember was, the cool raptors they had with the straight tails and you can move oh, their arms yeah. up and down and their mouth open? And the dirt bikes and stuff and the yeah. cool cars. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I saw one of those raptors. Before, it was before I had a raptor. My cousin had the whole park. He had every single, like, it, it, the park would section off. You could put a T-Rex in one, a Raptors in another. Okay. He had the Jeeps driving through it, my cousin Justin. Oh, yeah? He, his whole freaking top basement room was like a Jurassic Park park. Like, wow. I was so freaking jealous. But uh, <laughs> That's cool. But uh, I uh, was at the garage sale. I was super shy when I was little, and I saw the Raptors sitting there in a uh, toy bin. And I was like, Mom, I want that like, I, like, told her, like, you go get it, ask her how much it is. And my mom's like, oh, you just ask her how much it is. I'm like, oh, I don't ask her. And then somebody <laughs> walks up and grabs it. <laughs> and I was, like, like heartbroken. Like, <laughs> and then I'm, like, bawling in the car. Oh, I want this man. Raptor so bad, dude. Yeah. And then she was like, well, just go ask her if we can buy it from her. I'm like, no, I'm not asking. Like, if I'm not going to ask... I'm not going to ask the garage sale person how much it costs. I'm not going to go ask her if we can buy it from her. Who just bought it. My mom's like, well, we'll pay her like more than she paid. Just go ask her. My mom was really nice, by the way. Yeah, she was. I loved his mom. Um, she passed away, by the way, but we won't discuss that. But, uh, but yeah, so, yeah, I never got that raptor. But I ended up getting other raptors because Jurassic Park 2 and 3 came out, which also had raptors, so I <laughs> yeah. bought me some damn raptors. Damn right, he had a bunch. When I met him, he had a bunch of raptors. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm hoarding raptors now. <laughs> that was his favorite dinosaur. Yeah. Mine but, uh, was the T-Rex. Yeah, and I had, do you remember my T-Rex? It had the squishy head. Oh, yeah. And, like, I think you could, like, peel off piece of its piece of its ribs. Oh, yeah. You could see its rib cage in there. I don't I know can, why. Uh, yeah. And I also had this hammer head. You could, like, stick its head in and go... Like, and its head would pop out. Do you remember that? It was like a big T Rex looking yep. dinosaur yep. with like with a that, skull head. Yeah, I know. And you'd be like, <laughs> yeah, I do yeah. remember that guy. Yeah. That was cool. We used to play like uh Jurassic Park toys. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. We used to have all kinds of different adventures <laughs> yeah. we'd go on. <laughs> I like that. We we came up with whatever we wanted to play. We played Power Rangers, mm -hmm. Beast, Beast Wars. Wars. Beast Wars was our favorite. And one time we had this like all out Whole, that fun room we were telling you about, like the whole thing full, is like full of Beast Wars. Like we have a control stations and different we, portions that were. We used every single toy I even had. I, I think, think so. Yeah, we had. We like, pretty much did a draft. Like, okay, I got him. I got him. 
Okay, we just kept going. And we had these two big piles of team, <laughs> you know, and we were basically like strategic. Or okay, this guy takes him out. All right, I sneak behind you, and it was like almost chess, mm -hmm. where you get a move, I get a move, you get a move, I get a move. And we'd we'd like do the most logic, like who would win each time. Yeah, and it would it would have to break off into a deal where we're like, okay, if the show and it really fought. This guy would do this, but he would have a okay. Well, you know, and we'd have a discussion over who would win that battle. So it was like a bunch of discussions, and then we end up where he's killed all my characters. I, I thought you won, and you had one character left. Well, I thought you won, and I had that her like Barbie house or something. It was like one of my command centers, and my my oh, Falcon Zord. Right. I had a mini Falcon Zord. It's like like the one I have that I showed you guys, but like this big. Yeah, it fell off behind it. Like I didn't even use it yet, <laughs> and so he's like, "Well, I won, or, or we tied, or something." And I was like, "Wait." Pull that Falcon Zord out. <laughs> I freaking that. won by the Falcon Zord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and I was like, no. Which I guess could be cheating. Like, I could have totally hid that and just won, but I promise I didn't. I think it no, fell back I there. Remember, so. I remember because I, we had been going through the whole process together and I hadn't come across the yeah. sword and it was yours. You drafted it and mine died, so that means that you had more care playable characters than yeah. I did. <laughs> and you won. Yeah. <laughs> That was like the ultimate war. Yeah. No, we had some good times. When we were yeah. Kids. Well, right. do you have any more stories? Squash it around. We'll have to do another installment. We'll yeah, another we'll think about it. Yeah, this we'll is almost an hour long. Yeah, no, <laughs> my, I think it's my longest video ever. No, my movie videos are longer. Well, I, used to, I watched movies with uh, my friend Nathan, like on Skype. And oh, we yeah. talk about the movies after we watch them. Oh, so it's basically us sitting there through a whole movie. So. Oh, I gotcha. Heck yeah. But, uh, well, I'm glad to, glad to have met you guys. Yeah. Hopefully you'll be seeing more of me. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll do one next time. Yeah, yeah. I'll be coming over again shortly. If this is too long, well, I should have said this at the start. You can piece it up. Watch ten minutes, go take a poop, come back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get our story over time. Yeah. <laughs> well, y'all take care. All right. Good to see y'all. Bye, guys.